shall we begin? Hello and welcome to another Warcraft seasonal event video. Noble Garden is currently live and runs until April 24th. It's time to grab your brightly colored eggs for some awesome loot, achievements, battle pets, and of course my favorite, the Swift Spring Strider mount for massive gold opportunities. Before we dive into the massive gold making opportunities, we've got some new changes for 2017 event. First, the Noble Garden attire has been added to the appearance tab and you can use them for transmog. No more valuable bank space devoted to holding such items as your spring circlets, elegant dress, black tuxedo pants, or egg baskets. You can now replace those with other wonderful items instead. Secondly, this year Blizzard has added a new pet, the Noble Garden Bunny. You can finally have a pink bunny of your own, and unlike 2015's Mystical Spring Bouquet, this one is a legitimate battle pet you can actually use in pet battles. To purchase one, you're going to need 200 chocolates. At the start of this video, I spoke of massive gold opportunities. If you're looking to make a lot of gold, you'll want to focus on farming a ton of brightly colored eggs and using them to buy as many Swift Spring Strider mounts as possible, as well as several of each battle pet. The Swift Spring Strider sells for around 10,000 gold during the event, but if you hold off until after the event, you can generally sell them for much, much more. I generally sell mine between September and February when competitor supplies are lowest. How much you can sell them for will vary on your server, but I've seen prices generally around 50,000 gold. With the launch of Legion, of course, more recent prices have been up as high as 90,000 gold per mount. I would also recommend stocking up on the new Noble Garden Bunnies because being that they're new, not a lot of people have them. Chances are people will want them later as well. Prices will only go higher. Currently they're going for about 25,000 gold. Expect that to be the same or go up depending on supply and demand. Of course your server will vary and that's just my estimate and prediction. Now speaking of the eggs, they can only be found in the starting areas. For the Alliance, that means Azure Watch on the Azure Mist Isle, Dolinar in Teldrassil, Goldshire outside of Stormwind, and Karanas outside of Dunmoreau. For the Horde, you're going to want to head to Bloodhoof Village in Mulgore, Brill in the Tristfall Glades, Falconwing Square in Eversong Woods, and Razor Hill in Duratar. Now because the eggs are only in those areas, it can be a bit crowded, so here are a few tips to increase your egg gathering ability. 1. Adjust your environmental and ground clutter settings to a low setting and zoom out a bit. The eggs are going to be a lot easier to see as they will spawn faster than the shrubbery and glass clutter around them. 2. Make use of the speed boost items so you can run around your location faster. 3. Azure Mist Isle is generally the best place to farm eggs for Alliance, since it has a ton of egg spawn locations and because of its out of the way location. It's generally pretty empty for most servers, even during the Noble Garden event. Of course, if it's busy, I also recommend this wall in Karanos as another good static farm spot. I've heard of people getting 200 or more eggs in 30 minutes, just from this spot. Four. Falconwing Square is generally the best place to farm eggs if you're a horde due to its simple layout. 5. Farm early or late if you can. If you can farm where others are asleep, at school, at work, whatever, you're going to have less competition. Regardless of which city you choose, your goal is to find and click as many eggs as possible for as long as you can stand running in circles. The eggs are generally found by the bushes, in baskets, near trees, and generally in plain sight depending on your camera angle. As you gather your eggs, you can spam the macro provided here on the screen, I'll also provide a link down below in the description, to open the eggs quickly. Each egg has about a 94% chance to contain one or two chocolates, and there are very slim chances you're going to obtain Noble Garden vanity items and Spring Rabbit battle pets. If you're extremely lucky, you might even loot a Swift Spring Strider mount but the odds are so small, it doesn't even have a listed drop rate percentage for that to happen. So don't count on that chance. Your best bet is to farm the eggs, and you're going to need a ton of them. For each mount you plan to purchase, 
you will need 500 chocolates. For each Noble Garden Bunny, you're going to need 200 chocolates. Depending on competition for eggs, you should be able to farm anywhere from 500 to 700 or more per hour. So that's plenty of opportunity for a ton of gold. And that's about it for this video. Comment, share, and click that thumbs up if you like this guide video. And be sure to subscribe for future content notifications. I'll see you soon and thanks again for watching.